know what an ABC pattern is. It's three things that repeat each one time, over and over, just like these colors. In your head, try to fill in the white spaces with the pattern you see above it. Today, we're gonna paint the center of a sunflower. And does anyone know what's in the center of the sunflower? It's lots of seeds, and we are gonna be painting in an ABC pattern to create those seeds. First, you will pick three colors. I'm starting with yellow. Try to find the center and make a tiny, tiny circle. And then switch to a new Q-tip. I'm doing orange next. And go real close to those first colors that you put down. So the seeds look like they're very close together. My third color is gonna be a new Q-tip again, and we're using green for that one. And make sure we're still putting them close and we're going all the way around the circle with that one color. If I'm making an ABC pattern, can anyone guess what the next color will be? Yep, I'm gonna do yellow because that's what I started with. And next, I would do orange, and then last, I would do green again. Continue all the way out to the edge of that black paint on your paper plate and eventually we will add petals. Alright, let's tear some petals. So try your best to tear some petal shapes. I think it's going to look cool if they're all different sizes and shapes, so don't worry about making them all the same and just use your fingers to tear the paper into lots of different petal shapes. Once you have a few, you can start gluing them down. And I think it's a good idea to put glue on the plate and then stick the paper onto the plate. Go all the way around the plate and try your best to cover up that white plate with the yellow petals. We don't want it to look like a plate anymore. We want it to look like a flower, a sunflower. If you want to get fancy, you can lay your small petals on top of your bigger petals. I think that the petals need some lines to help them stand out a little bit, and we can use the quick sticks for that. I think an orange or a brown would look good for a sunflower, and we can use it to draw lines on the petal, but also do rough outlines of the petals so they stand out and don't blend in with each other. I can't wait to see how your sunflowers turn out. 